Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about schools. What, when we first always approach a product, we, we look at the usage. And with schools, it's all about speech. It's all about the spoken word. Now, on occasion, you know, there's going to be demonstrations with music, but speech, voice, and music are two variables that we have to manage acoustically. So, with schools, the main variable is always speech. So, that's going to be our design goal. Now, what do we want to do? We want to make sure that student in the front row and the student in the back row hear the same. We don't want to have to move up closer to the source of sound or the teacher, if you will, and move to the front of the class. We want everybody in the room to be able to hear equally, regardless of what's going on, whether it's a whisper, whether it's a shout, or whether it's just, you know, normal pressure level conversation. So our goal is to make sure everybody front and rear of the room hears equally. So we want to make sure the amplitude and the frequency is distributed evenly in the room. Okay, how do we do that? We look at the side. The best way to do that is to have the classroom outside. Can't be done a lot of times, okay? So the goal is to get rid of the room acoustically because the room is causing the problems, but we can't do that. So if we're not holding class outside, we're in a room. Room has walls, floor, and a ceiling. That's our big enemy when it comes to acoustics. So we have to treat the side walls, the rear, and the ceiling. Now, there's a matter of degrees to treatment, and you know, according to budget and according to the size and shape of the classroom, but the bottom line here is most of those surface areas have to have some type of treatment, okay? If we have a lot of windows in the classroom, those are an issue. They cut down on the surface area that we have available to treat. So we have ceiling tiles, and you can see in this photo a picture of them, and it's for drop ceilings. It's basically the Armstrong drop ceiling two foot by two foot or two foot by four foot tile with our foam technology attached to it, okay? Those work wonderful in the ceiling. You just remove what you have, drop them right in. Side walls and rear wall, we can use our two to four inch acoustic panels as you see in this, or in this photo. So different products, different applications, and then obviously we can custom build to suit, to match any situation. So the ceiling tiles really work well, they're cheap cost-effective, easy to install, take out what you got, drop these in place, so it's real good. We have a new one coming out that has a wood frame around it, so you can actually match uh, the paint on the wood to uh, the decor in the room. Now, schools are notoriously out of money, okay? So what we did is we come up with a school program just like we did for churches. We'll do the design work for free. We usually charge for that service. It's a fee-based service. But we'll run the analysis, tell you how much square footage you need, where to put it, and what type of product, and give you a price. If you want us to build it, that'll be your price. If it's going to be too much, which in most cases it is, we find, that's the reason we came up with the school program. We'll do the design work free, and then we'll sell you the products, the technology, the materials, to solve your room problems, and then you'll have to build the technology into a frame, into a panel, whatever you want, and we provide the drawings for that. Usually most school systems that we work with have some shop personnel that can build things. Well, if you do, you can save labor costs. I mean, you gotta pay it somewhere. If you have us do it, I have to pay people to build it. So it's just business. If you have a shop in your school, then the shop can build it. They're all easy builds. We provide the drawings and any technical assistance you need during the process. So it's not, it's not an issue. And you can save 30, 40%, <clears throat> excuse me, of the retail price. Most schools we see budget 5K to 15K, depending on room size and volume. Now, if you don't have this range of monies, you can step it. So let's say in your room, we come up with the analysis and we find that the sidewalls would be the most important surface. Once again, depends on size and volume. But let's say we do the analysis and we find that the sidewalls are the really the biggest offenders in the equation. 
So we treat the sidewalls first. Then we realize, well, then it's the rear wall that's next. So then we can treat that. So we can treat sidewalls first with part of a budget and then wait till we get more budget and treat the rear and the ceiling. Now you will get incremental increases in performance that way. You won't solve the issue because you need to cover X amount of surface area with X amount of technology. It's just physics, not, you know, nothing on our part. It just, the products absorb so much energy and you need so much square footage to deal with the energy issues in the room. So, but you can stage it or step it and develop incremental increases. Just remember that each surface area is about 18% of the problem. So you treat two surface areas, you've solved 36% of the problem. Will that be enough for your usage? Unknown, it's subjective. Will it be better than what you have? Absolutely. So we offer a budget uh, stage program for you, whatever works for you, and then we don't charge you the design fee in the school program. So remember, with school speech intelligibility, we wanna make sure everyone in the classroom can hear everything. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.